Keith Gibson. Informed. I. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. Yeah. Uh, I had to be informed that you were chasing me down on social media. Yes. I was like, really? It, it like it made it made me feel special. <laughs> it did. Welcome uh, back to our show, Hotness. I'm so happy to be here. Bless you. Thank you. A little shoe cam for Tyrese. Nothing wrong with that. A little oh, shoe no. cam for Tyrese. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, so we all watched Empire. Didn't see you. I know you're supposed to be there. Yeah, What's I'm all coming. going on? It's coming. I'm coming. I'm on my way. Yeah. I'm on my way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, me and me and Taraji, we gotta do what we do. I'm coming to get my girl back. You know what I mean? Really? Yeah. So you're playing a love interest? Yeah, I'm coming to give them. I mean, you know, all them dudes on there kissing on my girl. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, you I like know what that. I'm saying? That... I'm, I'm kind of, kind of done with seeing all that. You're you know vexed. What I'm yeah, you know, this chocolate is spreading. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, I did that. I did that. I set y'all up. I set y'all up. <laughs> Tyrese, I never noticed that you had a nose piercing, but I see a hole on the side of your nose, but there's no earring. No. And also one under here. Do you have your bottom lip and your nose pierced? That was from when I was like 16. Yeah. And just way back when, trying to figure my life out. This and, is uh... what kids do, and now this is what grown men do. Let yeah, that yeah. mess close yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. We're good. We're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your teeth still look fantastic. Thank you. Yes. Well, no, I'm a toothnista. Your te yes, that smile is everything from the Thank back you. of the commercial. When you were doing Coca-Cola. So what's going on in your real life regarding um, girlfriends? Because I looked, um, I couldn't see anything except for I was, one thing. I was in a relationship on the low for around four years and I've been single for about a year now. So. Yeah, I move in silence. I move in silence, Wendy. I'm, you know, I'm not the dude I think a lot of times, on a validation level, a lot of entertainers find themselves uh, desperate for the validation from the public. It's like there is a such thing as getting to know somebody and falling in love and having a girl. Were you in love? Uh, yeah, I was. Oh. I was. Who that's, messed it up, you? I did, that's why I wrote, you know, that's what, yeah. that's what the Shame song and the what whole Black Rose wildly? album. Uh, not wildly, but I, you You're know, cheating. I slipped up. Yeah. I slipped up, yeah. So we talked about you on Hot Topics about seven months ago. Um, you were out on a date with a girl and um, your phone, <laughs> your, you, you heard about this? Wait, <laughs> let, let me just explain what had happened. <laughs> so Tyrese, otherwise known as Black Ty, look, he was out on a date with a girl and his phone was out of gas. So he needed to use her phone to make a phone call. And when he asks her for her phone, what he sees is Tyrese Gibson's net worth. Like she's on, she's on celebritynetworth.com. Yeah, she was there like, on the date. Yeah, she this I think this went down before she got to, you know, my spot. So I just I went, we was having this little debate, and then I was like, I'm telling you, my phone is dead. Let me look. I'm, I'm gonna look it up right now. I went to her safari on her phone. Damn. And it said Tyree's net worth. And I was like, well, how about that? <laughs> <laughs> how about that? She wants to know what she needs to know. Uh-huh. Um, Did you so, leave her there and tell her pay her own bill? Um, it's okay. 
No, I mean, here's the thing. I never said anything because oh. I'm just one of them people that I think is more of a blessing when people's truth is revealed about what, what they're doing. Wow, you are grown. So, you know, I think, I think, <laughs> I mean, that, that scenario could have went a lot of different ways. I yeah. could have been like, oh, so this is what you want? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but I didn't, I didn't want to turn up on that level. I was just like, you know what? If you're here to try and take advantage, let me just take advantage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, you know, hey. So did you hook up and leave her? Yeah, you know. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> you, you did her dirty? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You did her dirty and left her <laughs> to clean up the sloppy mess. How old are yeah. you now, Tyrese? I'm sorry, but no, how old are you I'm now? I'm 36. Yeah. No, listen, can I, can I just say this? Um, I, I've, I've been saying this a lot on my social media that um, I'm just real, I'm real proud to be grown. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's good. there's so many of us as men, black men specifically, that's running around desperate to keep up with their youth. I'm like, listen, man, be grown. Be grown. It's all right. My voice is deep. You know, I, 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 I love women. I love the comfort, you know, the, the, the sophistication of women. I yeah. love the energy of it. And, you know, I don't, I don't sing for kids. I don't do albums for kids. Right. I'm, I'm grown, and grown. I like it. And I think, you know... I like it, too. You know, I, I think of... Um, Tyrese? Yeah. I want to ask you about your... Your um, short movie. Yeah. Uh, first of all, why did you make a short, other than for me, why did you make a, sh no, because a short film was only 23 minutes. A short film is <laughs> longer than Hot Topics, or shorter than Hot, why'd you make a short film? Well, um, the song Shame is, um, is, is one of my singles off of the Black Rose album, and I just had this, this vision, like, I, the more I kept living with the song, all of these characters in this world just popped up in my head. And, you know, I'm, I'm up to play the role of Teddy Pendergrass that, you know, I own. Oh, wow. Yeah, so um, <clears throat> I wanted to, um, I was Wart, one of, warts I was, and all. I wanted, to, I was one of the best men at his wedding and I was one of the pallbearers at his funeral. So I really knew Teddy and wow. he embraced, embraced me in a major way. And, and so I felt like I wanted to put some energy out there with me singing from that time period to kind of set up what's on the way with Teddy Pendergrass. So that's, uh, that's what it is. And then the other thing is, back in the day, and I know the real grown folks in the audience can relate to this, back in the day, it was never Marvin Gaye featuring Curtis Blow. No. It was never Luther Vandross featuring Run DMC. No. And I've been on this mission to try and figure out, like, how can I get grown folks to buy a full R&B album that doesn't have 15 features on it. And I so understand. this is my first number one album. And, and while everybody else <laughs> goes out of their way to sell albums for them, I'm on a mission to <laughs> save my genre, R&B, like real <laughs> R&B fans. Well, so, you, you know, Tyrese's new album, Black Rose, as he says, is his first number one. And that's a real feat these days. And before you leave, I. I have a, just a little surprise for you. Okay. Come on, Michael Lee. Bring it in. Ta-da! <laughs> in honor really? of your first number one album, Billboard would like to present you with this gold-plated plaque. And studio audience, you're all going home with a copy of Black Rose. <laughs> Tyrese, so nice to see you again.